Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here at Porter Valley Ranch for Hobby Farms. And today we're gonna talk about weaning lambs and kids on your farm. So it's spring, which means that everything is starting to bloom. Your grass is finally gonna start coming out. You can finally stop feeding that expensive feed and hay that you've had to do through the winter. So I know that's a blessing here on our farm. I'm sure it is on yours too. But also when it comes to spring, it means we start having babies. We have sheep and goats, so we are to the place where we have had some lambs, we've had some kids, and we are needing to wean those animals. Sometimes it gets a little overwhelming, so we thought we'd walk you through an easy process of when and how you should do that on your farm. So when a lamb is born here on our farm, hopefully everything goes well, and the ewe is able to nurse that lamb and give them everything they need. They get through the colostrum for the first couple of days, then through the milk. That milk provides the building blocks for their nutritional foundation, everything they need. But it doesn't mean it's the only thing they're going to have. Within the first couple of days, they will already start experimenting with grass, chewing on hay and grain and different things. We like that process of letting them naturally come to a place of balancing between nutrition from the mother and nutrition from the surroundings around them. Now, once they get to about six weeks, we're gonna start working on supplementing that nutrition for two reasons. One, we don't like a hard break between them nursing and being weaned onto grain and hay. We like it to happen a little more gradually. But the other thing is, if the lamb is getting nutrition from somewhere else, it's gonna take some of that strain off of the mom, and we're gonna be able to get that mom back in a healthy condition. So between that eight and six week period, we're going to start doing what we call creep feeding. We always have hay and grain and things available that the lambs could get into, but between six and eight weeks, we're gonna introduce a creep feeding system that is dedicated just to them. That's actually the area that I'm sitting in. It goes from being a birthing suite where most of our lambs are born into being a creep feeding station that only the lambs can get into. You can do this a couple different ways. There's a lot of tutorials about how to build a creep feeder. You can also purchase a creep feeder online or from one of the big box stores. But what we do is we just take one of our stalls, we put a slatted gate, and we also put a small opening that only the lambs can come through. The larger sheep don't fit. So they use this area as kind of a playground, but also as an all day cafeteria. They can come in away from the larger sheep. They don't have to fight for it. They can get fresh hay. They can get grain. They can eat as much as they want. And they usually won't overeat because they're also going back and nursing off of their moms. But it's good for them to be able to come in here in a safe space and not fight the bigger animals for that feed. Now, once the lambs get to eight weeks old, we're gonna start the weaning process. We don't like a hard break between them being with their mom and being on their own. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take this same creep feeding station and we're gonna change the gate. We're now gonna put a gate that the lambs can't get out of. So we will put them in here for a couple hours a day so they're away from the mom. The mom can go do her own thing, the lambs stay in here and have some independence. During that time period, they learn that they have to drink water on their own, they have to eat feed on their own, they have to eat hay on their own. But then at night, we'll turn them back out where they can go back to the mom and get that comfort. It's good psychologically for both the you and the lamb to know they're not completely separated. They start learning, it's okay to be away from each other for a little bit during the day, but then at night, we will come back together. As the days and weeks go, we will stretch that time period out even longer, so that the lambs, whenever they're ready to go to their new homes, between eight and 10 weeks, they are ready to be away from their mom. They understand how to eat enough on their own to sustain their body condition. One of the things you wanna be looking for is that body condition. You want them to be robust. You want to make sure that they are gaining weight, that they have a good, strong stance. That means that they're eating properly. If you notice that their body score condition is not great, if they don't have a good stance, they're not a robust position, then you might have to go backwards and let them back out with mom a little bit more to get more nutrition. 
Also though, if you plan on keeping these lambs on your own, you need to establish at least a two week period where they are completely disconnected from the ewe. That allows the ewe to slowly dry up her milk process and it allows the kids or the lambs to slowly get rid of that dependence on that milk for sustenance and nutrition. One of the other things you wanna be looking for as you're going through the weaning process is the health of the ewe. Sometimes their udders can become inflamed or engorged. And if you see that happening, you can either put the baby back with the mom or you can manually get rid of some of that milk by milking her out. If you look and you see that it is very inflamed, it is engorged, she might have something called mastitis. At that point, you would need to intervene. You might have to even go as far as giving antibiotics or some other form of treatment. So make sure as you go through the weaning process, just be aware, keep an eye on the lamb, keep an eye on the ewe, make it a gradual process instead of a harsh one. And I think you guys will have a lot of success on your farm. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck as you guys go through the spring. You're in planting season, lambing season, kidding season, whatever season you're in. We hope that it's bountiful and we hope that it's blessed.